hello there. Welcome to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation, and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah. I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. There are chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. Yes, it is. My brother and I run this particular branch, but our family has operations all over, particularly in California. It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Hey. Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. Well, no time for pleasantries. I've got your gear right here, but let's see if you can follow instructions. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area. I get your gear ready. Right Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor, with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure you hit what you're aiming at. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, and I started here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, Relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. Settle in. You've got some hours left before the shift ends. Yeah. 
Here comes the one. I'll let you handle this. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Another one coming. You're on. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Heads up. Looks like we got another customer.
Howdy! I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there, and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? I suppose it's all right. If there's no other choice. He's clean. See? Told you so. headed this way. Don't screw it up. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Help me clean this up. No one's gonna to want to shop here with the corpse out front. Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, bro. Things are about to get interesting. Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good, but I can afford to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you?
that's a good dog. Well, I'm out of here. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you yet. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Keep moving.
Keep moving. I don't handle buying and selling for the gunrunners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Later. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? Do you have what we requested? Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. We've already concluded our business. I suggest you return to your employers. I'm hungry. I'd give anything for a fancy lad. Wait, I mean, you know what I Welcome back. Did you have news for me, or are you just here for the guns? And? Don't leave me in... Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Keep moving.
Welcome back. Did Evening. Eat. Dead. Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trust me. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. For a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Don't you dawdle, little doggy. Mr. House isn't someone you want to go about snubbing. He'll be waiting.
Hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection.
What have you done? Run from me! That's the last of the ammo.
to meet you. What can I do for you today? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me, probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well... Some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Oh! He wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neural computational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently, his Securitrons. And then, I guess, I just do as I'm told. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't have wanted me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. Wow. Do you have any idea how special that is? Red carpet treatment? Seems a little mean to use his invitation against him like that, but I'm sure it's all for the best. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. I knew he was carrying a platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for him. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. Of course you do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you do. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? 
The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you... There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well... That'd be neat, wouldn't it? Any... The cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. Any hmm. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something. Because he said they always are. Whenever you get around to it, we'll be just fine. Anything else? From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything? Some of Mr. House's dad has said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. They go around in big suits of power armor and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. And
The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Your crimes against the Legion, including the death of the fearless Wulpes and Kulta, are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. The mighty Kaisar has bestowed upon you his mark and guaranteed safe conduct. If he wanted you dead, you would be dead already. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The cursor Lucullus will be waiting. Kaisar await. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Big guy, looking for a good time? Huh, so the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. It would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Lazy. You want to get your hands on some of the deadliest weapons around? Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best... I heard about your run on the tops. Don't even think about trying that crap here. Yes! Where's his hat? This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey? Also, we would like to set you up with a room. 
You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. You already own the corner room. You don't need to rent another. Later. People are talking, buddy. You made quite an impression on the script. Howdy. Thank you for watching this episode of Fallout New Vegas. I hope you had an amazing time watching this, and please like, share, and subscribe.